What's up, guys? Henry Gobble the Fourth here, and right now I am doing a Cyanogen Mod 11 installation tutorial. This is for Mr. Johnny Ohar. His name will be right here. Um, I th I'll have his link to his Google Plus down in the description. But he suggested, hey, uh, well I have I'm stock right now, rooted. Uh, show me how to get Cyanogen Mod 11 so I won't break my stuff. Well, that's what I'm doing today. I purposely went back to complete stock. Yes, this is the old, super old, you can't probably even recognize it, 2.3.6 gingerbread on a Samsung Galaxy S2. So without any further ado, let's get right into this Sanjin Mod 11 installation tutorial. Astro. going to be a bit more complicated than Nexus devices that I'm used to. Usually you're probably wondering, oh, this is going to be easy, boot and recovery, flash, you're done. No, that is not the case at all. I'm going to go ahead and go into step one, getting Modable Odin Pro. I deeply recommend getting Pro. I'll have everything that I'll talk about the link below, so all you guys, you don't even have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and hop into Mobile Odin Pro, not NASCAR. But first, let's go ahead and enable our Wi-Fi settings. Uh, I need to go ahead and do that because it will have to download some extra files. Why did I turn airplane mode on? <laughs> Alright, Wi-Fi settings. Let's go ahead and turn on that Wi-Fi. Uh, here's mine right here. And while I am entering my password, you can go ahead and look at my shoes. Do, 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 ding. Alright, I'm back and it is obtaining the IP address. And finally, it's connected. So let's go ahead and hop into Mobile Odin Pro. Now, it will allow super user requests. I'm automatically assuming that you are rooted. I will have a how to root this phone video in uh, a later video, of course. But right now, I'm just showing you guys an installation tutorial how to get Science and Mod 11 on your device. Now, right stock rooted, you're ready to go. So we'll have to download some official additional firmwares. Don't take doesn't take that long, especially if you have a strong Wi-Fi connection takes about a couple of minutes and right now you can see that stuff is downloading um I've I, I was actually going to do a video like this uh, but I didn't really get around to it I was doing some other stuff and a guy requested I was like you know what, let me go ahead and pop this on YouTube so you guys can see it and another thing I did recently download Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 um, don't ask me how I got it but uh, it's just I downloaded it and I was wondering do you guys know any tutorials? I'm trying to learn how to work with it, edit videos and stuff like that. If you have know anybody, know any videos uh, that'll help me with that, please be sure to put a link, uh, not a link, but a comment down below, and that'll help me out really well. Right now, it is on 40, 50 percent uh, downloading, pretty slow. It's usually done by now, but um, this is going to be pretty much more complicated than Nexus uh, devices. It's not going to be as complicated as you think. Um, it's not that bad. Where you actually will have a recovery at the end of this, so it's okay. But you actually have to flash two separate ROMs. You have to flash CM 10 point whatever just to get the Cyanogen Mod 5, and then in that recovery, you have to flash CM 11 to get the Clockwork Mod 6, just because there is no uh, separate Clockwork Mod 6. So um, I'll let this thing go ahead and download uh, to 100%, and I'll be back when it's done. I'm back and it is currently on 96% and this is just a heads up please be sure to get all of the files in the description on your SD card before this process even starts so you won't even have to worry about that so let's go ahead and hop into it um, no thanks now um, I'm assuming that you have all the stuff on your SD card like I said and you're in mobile Odin Pro so what you want to do is tap that kernel slot select internal SD card and you will need stock CWM EL26 TAR MD5. You'll need that MD5 uh, file. Go ahead and select that, and that's pretty much it. All you have to do is click firmware flash. Now prepare because you're going to have to hold down the power button and the volume up button right after the firmware flash. So as soon as it goes blank, hold those buttons down and you'll be good. This is the only tricky part about it. So you want to click firmware flash and prepare. I'm pretty good at that. Uh, you will have to check some MD5 signatures, they don't take that long, but prepare. And it's flashing, hold. 
And once you get to the Samsung screen, you're pretty much set. Uh, there's nothing really to worry about now. Once you get to the screen right here, you'll go ahead and boot into recovery. And then you can go ahead and start the first flash. This is the first flash. Now this one is a weird kind of recovery. All you have to do is just go to uh, wipe data and factory reset. Press the home button. It's kind of weird. I'm used to pressing the power button to select. But go ahead and factory reset that. It'll go ahead and format your data cache and all that stuff. Then you want to go ahead and choose the zip from SD card. Uh, choose zip from internal SD card. And then you want to go ahead and find the CM 10.2 nightly. I don't care which one you download. I'll just have the latest one in the link below. It doesn't really matter about the version. Go ahead and install the CM 10.2. Um, this one, th th right now, this flash right now, it will flash CM 10.2 the G apps for 4.3.1 and Super SU, and that pretty much gets you a rooted 10.2.1, 10.1. Well, whatever it is, Android 4.2. or 4.3.1, kind of weird the uh, all the versions. This will get you a rooted Android 4.3.1. You're probably wondering, no, I don't want 4.3.1. I want 4.4. Please hurry up. This stuff. It, come on, just stay with me. You got to do this first. There's no way to pass this. You got to go ahead and do this. So right now it's installing the update. This bar right there is moving. And come on, there you go. All right, so right now, um, go ahead and press. Let's go ahead and enable the power button. Well, I guess you can. But. All right, now you want to go ahead and install the G apps, um, JB 2013-08-13 signed zip. That's the one you gotta flash. Uh, yes, I am recording with my Nexus 7. Uh, doing really, really well with the focusing 1080p recording. It looks really really smooth I'm loving this right now um, best camera I've ever used in my life I know I'm trying to get a professional camera got some professional software but you know that's not that's really besides the point you gotta get a camera first so this is all I got I'm using what I got so now that you flash this you can go ahead and flash that super SU which is very very crucial um, so right here go ahead and flash that and super SU installer and power button go back reboot system now and you're set so that's pretty much right now you're pretty much booting into Cyanogen mod 10.2 and I'll be back when it's fully booted so we can go ahead and get ourselves some CM11 so be right back on that so guys I'm back and we got ourselves some CM 10.2 <laughs> CM 10.2, I always get the versions mixed up. But right now, you're in the setup, and you know what? Don't even set up. Just go ahead and power off your phone. And it'll go ahead and power off the phone. You don't even have to set up. Don't even worry about that. You don't even have to get into that. Just go ahead and power off your phone as soon as it's booted. Then, you want to hold down the power button and the volume up button again. Hold them down until you see Samsung Galaxy S2, and then you can go ahead and let go. You can see, and it'll boot you in a CM 6.0.4.5, I think. As you can, pro as you can probably tell, yeah, 6.0.4.5. As you could tell from the last video, it, from the last section, it booted into 5.0.4.3. And to even boot, to even flash CM 11, you have to have the latest version. So that's why you had to flash two CMs. So let's go ahead and use the power button this time to wipe our data. Wipe all user data. And formatting data, formatting cache, um, formatting some other partitions. And now you can go ahead and go to install zip. Choose zip and SD card. And my personal choice of a 4.4 ROM is Voluminati. There are other ROMs, ROMs out there such as the Moki ROM, but I deeply recommend Voluminati because it is more of a stock 4.4.2 uh, um, CM11. It's more of just straight CM11, no added features. Moki has some added features, some cool ones like Active Display from the Moto X. Um... Some other ones include, uh, you could actually do a split view on this phone where it shows one half of the app and another half on the top. Really, really cool features. But me personally, I don't need all of that. I just need CM11. So let's go ahead and flash that. And it is installing the update. Right now, it was installed this update, CM11, the KitKat G apps. And I deep, right now, uh, I recommend do not use the do not flash the PAG apps I know if you probably have those the paranoid Android G apps 
uh, you probably think, oh, it would be straight. Do not flash those. Flash the ones in the link below, and it will work out perfectly. Um, I found that the, those, they don't they usually don't work, and you'll end up with no home screen. So let's get back into this. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, bus is coming by. <laughs> but um, go ahead and, flat, and choose it from storage SD card. Flash these G apps. Let's go back. G apps KK. That's KitKat. Um, you want to flash those. And I'll go ahead and install G apps for Ender 4.4.0. This is 4.4.1 actually. So you can get a picture. It is installing those files. And after this, of course, you'll flash your Super SU. And I'm going to show you guys a quick way. I'll actually make another video about this. But some people have problems with Super SU saying, oh, I have Super SU, but it's not. It's saying that I'm not rooted. There's an easy fix for that. Um, I found it out myself, actually. Let's go ahead and go and flash it first before we talk about it. But it's an easy, um, easy method. All you have to do is just, well, check off one box in the Super SU settings and you'll be straight. Let's go back and reboot our system. And you now have CM11, CyanogenMod11, Android 4.4.1, whatever you want to call it. Uh, none of that ugly yellow triangle stuff because you used Mobile Odin, not the desktop version. Um, you have CM11. You are straight to go, ready to go. And, well, I'll be back after it boots up. And I'll take you through the setup, uh, show you guys the Super SU fix, and I'll be done. So, I'll be back in a minute. Guys, I'm back, and uh, here's CM11, so I'm going to go ahead and take you through the setup. Um, I am in English in the United States, so we can go ahead and press Next. And I can log into my CyanogenMod account, so you can look at my shoes. Well, here's my Wi-Fi, but you can look at my shoes now. Alright, now we are authenticating and connecting, so here's checking for updates. You don't have to worry about that. And I can log into my CyanogenMod account, which I will do at this moment so you can continue to look back at my shoes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's a lot of stuff. Alright, wait. Eh. Okay, kinda. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna skip the Gmail crap. Not now. Don't want GPS, but I would like Wi-Fi uh, next phone. And it says now your phone is ready to rumble. So I personally like Launcher 3, so we can go ahead and click Always. Click OK. Organize your space. And now let's go into Super SU. Now the easy fix of that problem with root is, well, you can go ahead and install the add-on. No thanks. Easy thing. All you do is go into the settings, find the Trust User tab and select it. And that's pretty much it. All you have now you have full root um CM11 on your phone, Epic 4G Touch. So that's pretty much it. Um Henry Gobble the 4th here. And thank you guys for watching. This was my installation tutorial for CM11 on the Epic 4G Touch. Again, I am using my Nexus 7 for recording so you can see how that records. You can see that it focuses pretty well. And that's pretty much it. Henry Gobble the 4th, 4 youtuber. And I'm out. Peace.